You are on a roll, young lady. Isn't that fabulous at this age? Well, it is incredible. All my friends are dead. Nobody's there to appreciate it. <laughs> I spend half my day working, half my day going to funerals. <laughs> <laughs> and the minister always says the same thing. She's in a better place. And you want to go, no, she's not. She had a house in the Hamptons. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> everyone's dead. Aw. But and now, are you, next year, you're going to be 80. I'm going to be 80 years old. But uh, I, I know. So, <laughs> Oh, they applaud. <laughs> they, your relatives applaud because I think, how much longer? <laughs> and, and so, uh, but you know, it'd be nice if tonight I died on your show because they would get to see a show and a death for the rest of your lives, audience. <laughs> you would go to dinner parties. They'd say, "You were there." <laughs> she was talking, then she fell over. <laughs> didn't move, we thought, Botox. But then it really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I hate? I hate um, the obituaries when they say things like, uh, Sadie Schwartz, 106, suddenly. And you go, hold it. <laughs> 106, about time. <laughs> time to go, we want the jewelry. <laughs> it, <it's>, uh, <laughs> There's weird things about aging that I didn't realize. Well, it's very hard if you were attractive. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't have to worry. But <laughs> you... <laughs> you are going to have to worry. I, I, have, I have friends, and I'm not going to name names, Goldie Hawn. <laughs> I have <am> not... <laughs> they can't take getting older, you know? And she'll say, would you believe I have a grown-up daughter? And you're going to go, yes! No <laughs> question. <laughs> It's very hard for a woman to get older. Yeah. And older men, <gasps> because I always faked orgasm, and now these old guys, <laughs> you know, if you moan and groan in the wrong ear, they don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a waste. So, it's hard getting older. <laughs> but but you it's but it's you work well, you've got two shows two on shows, the network now. Both on E, Jonah Melissa and uh, Fashion Police, both on E. I have to say this Sunday night. Sunday yeah. Night. No, you take over the channel on Sunday nights. Fashion Police, it's about to celebrate its hundredth episode. Hundredth episode, isn't that amazing? And it's gone for half an hour to an hour. It's a big hit. And Melissa, my daughter, are you single? Yeah. We'll talk. My, she, she just broke up with the porn king of America. I, oh, he owns Vivid. Oh, you know. No. And, and <laughs> we, went, we went to the porn awards. The red, they have a red carpet. I'm not lying to you. On the porn awards. A red, it's shaved, but it's a red <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you know they go. Just to have been on top of her is enough of an honor. I mean, they, you know, they really. You know, <laughs> but, but Melissa uh, does. There's a fashion police. So she great. produces that. But then the reality show is you Joan living with her. Yeah. Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best. That's yes. Sunday nights as well. Yeah. And but working together, it's that seems hard. crazy. It, working with family is very hard. But Melissa. You know, we shop together and we work together and we decorate together. She's like the gay son I never had. <laughs> and, um, you know what's great? I get to go with my grandson, and that's very important. I don't want to go here because it's a family show, but I mean, <laughs> people have attractive grandchildren. <laughs> if you're a pig and your husband's a pig, figure it out. <laughs> They are, my grandson's going to be in a, a commercial. They want him in a, in a diaper commercial as a turd. <laughs> I mean, <it's>, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I Joan, you are in actually good company on the couch tonight. I, <laughs> Jake, yeah. I don't believe any of these things. <laughs> no, Jeremy, because no, Jeremy, you like to stir it up. You're not a not face. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's no. my line. <laughs> here's Joan's line. <laughs> but Jeremy, okay, I understand how sometimes controversy can stumble into your life, mm. but you do seem to go looking for it. I don't. Oh, come on, you're tweeting the car registrations of people who annoy you on the road. Well, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, it's, that's looking for trouble. 
Yeah. I just think that's funny, because they think they've got away with it, and you just go, you haven't. <laughs> Mind you, I've only got 86 followers, so that doesn't really help. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's nice from my point of view. I just think, well, that's good, because he's paid them back. Yeah. And, James, you seem so nice. I am. Does, do, you, <laughs> do, do you hate anything? Uh, yeah, I have irrational hatreds like wiring. I hate wires, like on computers, under the desk. OK. Or behind the television. OK. But there's a lot OCD. of wires. OCD. But the other thing I hate is, and I, I accept that this is irrational, but it's those wooden... Sh those wooden sticks you get, especially in America, for stirring a coffee. Cos all the misery of humanity is in that piece of wood. Cos you... Because the coffee has become such an elaborate construct, you have a double chock a mock a tock a lot with an extra shot and a dash of chocolate yes, and a cardboard yes. thing and a warning about the heat and the top with a hole that you push in it, and then they say, would you like this piece of splintery wood? <laughs> it's not even a spoon. <laughs> and, it does, and it doesn't stir it up because it's really thin and it goes round and round and nothing happens. And everybody goes, hell, yeah, and then puts it in that bin. So, why? I hate it. Shall I give you an idea of how much OCD James has got? <laughs> OK, this is a watch. It's got the little pointer thing that has to go by the 12, yes? Yeah. So if I talk to James and it's there, everything's all right. If I do that, it drives him... Yeah, because you're not actually timing anything, so if you don't... <laughs> not... <laughs> you can't just leave it there. No, That's the funniest thing in the world. When he's talking on Tucker, I'll just sit and go... And it shuts him up. <laughs> it's not straight. I've done it again now. Well, I'll pull my sleeve down. You'll ignore. never know. Okay. Jake, you so seem you so. Jake, but Jake seems so balanced. So oh, you know, yeah. you see, you yeah. No, uh, do you, does anything kind of grind your gears? Nothing. I'm always so calm, and I have it so <laughs> together at all times. Are you really? Yes. I believe you. I hate nothing. Everything's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> what a wonderful world. <laughs> Look at Joan's face. <laughs> It doesn't take much to set you off, Joan. Like, why do you hate women with prams? Wh why? Because they take up the whole street. <laughs> and when they have, like, those stupid twins... And, uh, <laughs> out of the way, I have twins, you know, I have the right... You know, if you had maybe given your husband a blowjob instead of sex, we could share the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with Glee? Oh, Glee! What's Glee ever done to you? Glee, that stupid show where they're all happy. <laughs> oh, don't! It, you've watched Glee. Did you have a good time in high school? Well, you're handsome, so you probably had a good wow. time in high school. Wow. Yeah, I like to watch the gay because I have so many gay friends. All the gay people on Glee, all the gay boys, are running and laughing. My high school, they were running and fucking hiding. <laughs> <laughs> 